Nine. She thinks she's fully messed with those sad little eyes, but she's just like the others. Fear and pity. She'll betray us in the end. Her hair is not even really blonde. ancestors, an innate and essentially human impulse. This very quality is what separates man from beast. It is a manifestation of our inherent desire for order, for symmetry, for beauty. That's it. That's it. Oh, gentle. Doctor. Mm. <gasps> Freedom. Are you injured? I will get brutal. No, no. You can go. I'll see to it myself. Let me speak with Frida alone. But patient. Never mind that. But doctor. Thank you, Olga. Yes, doctor. I'll be waiting. Frida, my dear, I've warned you to stay in your quarters. The patients have very serious diseases. They are highly contagious. If anything ever were to happen to you... That sounded like a real gun. Is everyone okay? What happened? Cut! Cut! I think there are hunters out there. If anything ever were to happen to you, I'd never forgive myself. My hero, Max. Yeah, well. Excuse me, who's in charge here? <laughs> Not me. Who is? Uh, try touching me. No, this one is yeah. perfect. Yes, we will use this one. Excuse me? No, out. Ma'am? Yes, this one is perfect. No, take this one away. Ma'am, you need to move your trucks. They're blocking our driveway. Oh, yes, this one is nice. Who can I speak to about that? Who's in charge here? Excuse me, who should I speak to about moving the trucks? Uh, you can talk to Tetra Lady about right that. Now. No, this one, no, no. It's got an all child cast. No, it's all dwarves. All children are dwarves. Excuse me, are blocking our driveway. They need to move right now. Excuse me, can you help me with this? Zach, just ask who you Zach, want to ask, but just make sure. Do you know if you like this for a She's really tired. Thanks. Tetralini? Oh, excuse me. Sorry, is, is this the camera you're shooting with? Yeah, crazy, right? <laughs> That's tiny. Yeah, they just keep getting smaller and smaller these days. It's really all about the lens, though. People we can talk to you about that if you back. want. Second. Sarah Wagner. Yeah. I'm Joan Beckett. Hi. I'm here to Tetralini? interview Mabel. Oh, great to meet you. Oh, yeah. You <laughs> have you seen, have you seen uh, Mabel? No. You could talk to Molly. Thank you. I'm a huge fan. Oh, thank you. Tetralini? We wait in one line for a loaf of bread. I always wanted one, but it's such a serious commitment. Marked for life. <laughs> How do you think of a symbol that's completely unique to you and perfectly expresses your individuality? Like a barcode or something. My father says tattoos are an insult to God. Now, How would the tattooed lady feel about that? Is there going to be a tattooed lady? We'll find out tomorrow. Tomorrow? I wonder if there will be a bearded lady. Not I could play the part. Oh God, me too. You, I don't see anything suspicious. Look. Look. No, that's like wispy silk down. I'm an ape woman. You obviously know. Plus, much worse. Who? Code of silence. I guess that's fair. Trust you. Yeah. Mabel, I wanted to introduce you to Miss Beckett. Beckett. Joan Beckett. Mabel. Miss Beckett. Oh, sorry. Uh, she's writing in the article. I'll talk to you at the hotel. I don't want to bother you now. Well, that's all right. We're just comparing to facial hair. I have you all beat. I don't know. You have stiff competition. 
Molly, how's your beard? Oh, electrolysis. Best 1100 bucks I ever spent. Really, 1100 They do that here, I think, in the other wing. Female facial hair is making a comeback. <laughs> I doubt that. You regret it now, Molly? No. It's true. Armpit hair, short hair, afros, eyeglasses, these things go in phases. Scars are kind of a thing. Oh, Even Phoenix. Even Rest had a brief moment in history. I must have missed that one. <laughs> what about you, Michelle? You need any work done? No, she's perfect. Cut. Cut! Try again, but uh, moving away from the girl. It would be more effective if she becomes uh, dwarfed by this lonely ship. Cut. Cut! I guess so. Um, although, I don't make those distinctions. Well, there's always some distinction in the working conditions, for instance. Okay, yeah, well, on a film like this, you kind of slum it. But um, I think that's part of the appeal, like the beauty is that it's more challenging, physically, mentally, and um, also I'm just a huge fan of the director. It's his first American film. Yeah, but it still retains a kind of European sensibility, which is one thing I love. Um, and I don't get cast in the mega movie things anyway, so I'm not the type. You're being modest, you're very beautiful. Thank you, but. Since we're on the topic, there are some bold casting choices in this film. I guess. Do you have any reservations about it? Reservations like how? Um. I don't know, do you feel, for example, this film might be considered exploitative? You know, I think that's up to the director. Um, it's in the script. Have you read it? No. I think this is something he relates to. He had very serious asthma or something like that as a child. And so I think it's a very personal, like sad tale. And he said he grew up in the circus, but I think he exaggerates. <laughs> <laughs> Playing a blind woman must be challenging. Mm. But that's the job, right? Acting is acting. Like um, Orson Welles, who's white, can play Othello, who's black, obviously. But then he can also turn around and be um, the other... Iago. Iago, right, if he wanted. Um, Daniel Day-Lewis, such a gifted actor. He can play... He played a hopeless cripple, and then he turned around and played a great American president so that's a challenge. But blindness, it's also not a totally foreign concept because, you know, blindness is an illness, but it's also a metaphor, right? We're all blind in certain ways. We're like blind to our own best interests or blind to the suffering of others. And I think that blind people, um, they feel shut, they feel excluded from, yeah? Um, and I certainly relate to that. I'm sure you do too. Sure. Tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow. Well, that's, that's from that, uh, it's from a musical, right? It's the, the little rich orphan kid. What? No. Tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow creeps in this petty pace from day to day. Doesn't ring a bell, man. Everybody knows this. Are you sure it's not about a rich orphan? Well, kind of. It's got an all black cast. American film? Yeah. First, the tattoos, then the mask. I have a concern. Maybe I'm just not what getting moment, it. Mabel? Um, I was just thinking about the beauty of eyes, or the measure of their beauty, and. It's not their shape. Can you tell by touching them? What are you talking about? Uh, when she feels his face. Who does? Whose face? Frida touches Rosenthal's face. And? Well, can she tell by touching his face that he has beautiful eyes? Why are you bringing this to me now? Well, 
I was just thinking about it, and it doesn't make sense. Sure it does. But eyes are, like, moist, and I don't think he wants her poking. She's not meant to be sticking her fingers into his eye socket. Yeah, I know, I know, but um, aren't eyes, like, all the same shape? I don't know that that's true. I don't see how you can just make a statement like that. Can you touch a person's eyes and tell me if they're beautiful or... Monstrous? Well, me, maybe no, but I'm not a blind, you know, I don't read Braille, I don't have superhuman musical abilities, but Frida... Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. I disagree. Even if it is... It isn't. But eyes are, like, considered beautiful because of uh, their color, or, or maybe it's their placement, but it's not the way they physically feel. You're saying that as someone who has sight as a seeing woman. You're not thinking like Frida. Vanessa, the script. <sighs> this ungodly hour. Sorry. Here. Read it. I have Rosenthal. Page. 118. So it's Rosenthal, please, no, don't. Frida. There's is nothing to be afraid of. She places her hands on his face, feeling the contours of his exaggerated features, but does so with a kind of tenderness. Rosenthal seems frightened, but also in a sense grateful. Frida, I think you're beautiful. Rosenthal, me, beautiful. Frida, especially your eyes, you have such beautiful eyes. Rosenthal, why are you so kind to me? I don't know, it doesn't... It's not altogether logical, but it has a kind of poetic truth, a rhapsodic truth. <laughs> no. no, stop. <laughs> don't smile. I never do. It's true. It's the best way to prevent wrinkles. I'm joking. I smile. Eh? Don't. Stop it. You're gonna ruin it. God, when does it stop hurting? Oh, stop complaining. This isn't even available to the public yet. You have to know somebody. Who do you know? Dr. Lichter. He lives in my mom's building. It's the same guy who did Max's hair. Max's hair isn't real? I mean, it's real. It's stem cells or something. I don't know. Possibly his own. What an amazing time to be alive. Mm -hmm. That's when mm. Scylla, look, you're on TV. Jesus, everywhere I look, there I am. <laughs> Gotta get used to being seen sometime. I by my husband. He has made me a Christian. Truly, the more to blame he. We were Christians enough before. In as many as could well live, one by another. This making Christians will raise the price of hogs. Oh, Shakespeare's the worst. It's the classiest thing I've ever done. Until now. Well, we'll see. All right, I gotta wash this off. No, it's working. Burning. Burning is good. Give it time. How much time? Weeks, years, decades. But time was the enemy. Befriend the enemy. How long have you been using it? Two days. Oh, your commitment is truly astonishing. You laugh now, but we'll see who's laughing in 30 years. Oh, I never laugh, remember? I didn't say that. I said you never smile. We have an update of a string of murders that has a whole community living in fear. Now, police are seeking a man for questioning. He's described as having a mark on his face. He has these marks or these scars, kind of like burns, uh, on his face. They, they were on, like, the left side. Um, well, no, actually, they were all over his face. But uh, there, there was just something really off. Awesome. We'll no doubt be hearing more about this as the case develops. In the meantime, please keep your eyes open and remain alert. <laughs> You're on television. Uh, I was hoping nobody would notice. It's my early work. Nonsense. Of course, if you were going to do it faithfully, as Shakespeare would have wanted it performed, uh, being all male cast. Modern interpretation. Which I support. Did you know our director grew up in the circus? I heard. When I was a boy, that was my dream. It's a strange dream, I'd say. An experience like that can really warp a man's mind. Maybe that's why he's a genius. What was your childhood dream? Uh, um, was to be a waitress. <laughs> Easily realized. Yeah, pretty sure that warped my mind. 
But I would still prefer it to joining the circus. Oh, no. Never happened for me, though. Poor Max. What will you dream about tonight? My dreams are lame. It'll probably just be about going to work. I'll be in it, then. I never remember my dreams. Shame. I never forget mine. Get good sleep. Tomorrow all your dreams may come true. Did you know worse? You know, sideshows have been around all one form or another for hundreds of years. And people criticize What's that them. Wells movie with because the people white criticize Mexican? the unknown. A touch of evil, a child human impulse going back to Isn't there a different world with a woman? Beasts. A white Mexican woman? But in reality, sideshows benefited people with disabilities who had no other means of supporting themselves. To Peter Seller. Well, who's going to employ them in like the 1930s? Oh, it's probably yeah. the president. I'm going to. Nicole Kidman, that's in there. And the whole American. What is that drone? I think it's a drone. I'm sorry. No, uh, I didn't. Um, no, I, di I didn't know anyone was in here. I'm my sorry. My fault. I, no, no, I, no, 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 no. It's not your fault. It's not your fault at all. Do you need help? Uh, no, no, it's just my medication. It's my bad. I'm sorry. No, no. Crafty's down there. Holding is down there. Restrooms are upstairs. Wow. Elevators are broken. This is Michelle, our fabulous makeup girl. Be nice to her. Are we doing makeup? I don't what know. Then? Mabel, where have you been hiding? You got to meet Rosenthal. You know, Hi, yeah, nice. Maybe I'll watch Got a movie on our hands. Right this way, guys. The rooms are at the end of the hall. Don't tell me, don't tell me. Frosa, Clementine, Nora, the Moses twins, even Miriam. That's an easy one. Okay, everyone. You can grab a bed and get a toothbrush and a washcloth. This is okay. Who's been in a film before? Uh, I'm sorry, a movie. Who's been uh, in a movie before? I have. You have? What have you been in? It was called Triumph of the Ill. <laughs> Triumph of the Ill, that's a great title. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, I don't think it ever came out. Well, happens. You, Aristotle, have you been in a film before? Uh, one was called Life Unworthy of Life, and the other, I think it was called Enemy of the Gods. Uh, God's Mistakes. Yes, God's Mistakes. Enemy of the Gods was the German title. Fame der Gatu. I think I saw that, actually. How was it? Powerful. It's the one I'm thinking of. Max, you bring the doctors out here. One doctor out. Yes, come forward and you see up. You up, up. Do the walk. Do the walk. Now you see him, but you do not observe. No, you're still moving. Still moving. Hey, you're all alone over here. All this dialogue, it just goes on and on. I can't remember it. Oh, everyone's nervous on their first day of a shoot. I don't want to mess this up. That director's intimidating. You know, he's not really. It's his accent it makes him sound like a villain. But how am I possibly supposed to remember all these lines? Lines are the easy part. I've done this before, yeah? If a school play counts, then sure. Yeah, this is gonna be a piece of cake then. Do you have representation? Representation? 
Yeah. No, not that I know of. Okay, so the first trick to learning your lines is to stop worrying. I'm on this medication. It affects my memory or something. Well, we'll rehearse together if you like. Yeah, thank you. That's very kind of you. I can pay you for lessons. No, I'd be a hopeless teacher. Terrible with kids. Yeah, could take me too. That's ridiculous. No, they're genuinely terrified of me. I think you're paranoid because children are like mindless drones. It's probably that you're afraid of them. Oh, absolutely afraid of them. <laughs> so you're not, you're not a father then? <laughs> no. Like, do you have a dog or a cat? Oh, uh, no, they hate me too. Dogs bark at me and cats tend to hiss at me. <laughs> All right, now I know you're kidding. No, anything below cat or dog, snail, cockroach, plankton, they're mildly indifferent to me. You're hilarious. All right, I'm on to you. I think you're trying to lower my expectations so that you can run away with the movie and put me to shame. I need to learn my lines before I could do that. You wouldn't be the first actor that didn't know their lines, but I'll help you if you need it, which you don't. You don't seem convinced. What do you want to know? How to act. That's all? Just start from the beginning. Um, name an emotion. An emotion? Yeah, just name one, like any emotion. I can't think of one. You can't think of an emotion? Is that the medication too? <laughs> yeah, maybe. Like, sadness. OK. Sadness. See? Acting. OK. All right, I got one. Great. Happiness. Mm, opposite of sadness. That's all I hear. I have to remember. Um... <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. You're ecstatic. So you think. OK, OK, let's try fear. <sighs> yeah, I recognize that reaction. OK, how about empathy? Empathy. That's one, that one's very advanced. Um, a minute ago, you couldn't name any emotion. Yeah, but they're all coming back to me now. So, empathy in three, two, one. And it looks a lot like pity, but all the same I'm touched. You're really very talented, I must say. Tell my father that. And did you like how I shouted action? So good, but that one's not your job. Ah, I thought I'd be bold. Oh wait, you didn't say cut. So the scene's still going on? Oh yeah, it's so, your turn. No, 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 no. Happiness. That's actually unfair because I'm already really happy anyway. Look, check it. See how happy I am? See how actually for real happy I am? Clearly. Uh, hair and makeup's ready for you. And his reaction was, I see this as being very damaging I'm to capitalism. Basically self -hating judgment, if only. But for Aren't his movies on there? Yeah, all that new contraptions. He okay. said, I don't think he's going to make that much more. Do you want to see him? Oh, yeah? All the way yeah. Hey. Yes, officer. Anybody you notice with identifying markings, characteristics, uh, scars, uh, amputations, uh, let me, tattoos? Let me get you tetralini. OK, you just stay right there. I'll just be right back. OK, stay right, right there. Come forward. Forward. Come right there. There. Stop. Up. Stop. Rosenthal. Just stand in the shadows. And when I say action, you stand there for a few seconds. Mabel will speak her line. Then walk out into the light. Walk out. Step out of the shadows and into the light. Let us now try it. It's just a rehearsal. Action. Who's there? 
Don't be frightened. No, but you need to say it exactly as you're emerging from the shadows into the light. Who's there? Don't be frightened. Cut, no, no. First, uh, wait five seconds. Okay, sorry. And just step. Do, do not just walk out. Don't. Step out. So one step. A solitary step out of the shadows and into the light. Okay. Can we try it? Who's there? Don't be frightened. That was better, much better, but you still, you must step, you make your reach longer. The shadow is still, we shall conquer this problem. Maybe we can move the light back. Um, the light is beautiful if you would just do as I asked and lengthen his step. Mark it, put a mark down. Rosenthal, step to the tape. But do not look at the tape, you must understand. Who's there? Don't be frightened. Progress. I won't stand too long in the shadows. No, in fact, I was, is it long enough? How does it appear, Frank? Where's Frank? Why am I standing in the shadows? Because uh, this is your entrance. From where? It's the entire film. This is your introduction as a character to the audience, to the paying public. So far you have been seen only in shadows. But your face, your identity is a mystery. And what exactly am I doing? Just, just standing, sta there. standing there. It, it feels unnatural because it is stylized. Maximum effectiveness. I'm just asking to get a, a feel for the whole thing. So, You're like, what is. in the shadows because you are afraid, because you are in an unfamiliar place and you sense something is not right here. So, you are hiding because you smell fear. And then I just walk out? You do not walk out, you step out into the light. It is an introduction, it is an amazing moment because the audience has not seen you yet. You have been withheld. It is like Orson Welles in the Muppet movie. You've seen this movie, no? No. Do you know these Muppets? You would like them. They are not fully beasts, not fully human. Uh, they are half-breeds, uh, like the great god Anubis. Yeah, I know who the Muppets are. These half-men. These Muppets have spent the whole motion picture sojourning westward across the entire United States of America to go to Hollywood to see this big studio man. When they finally reach the motion picture studio after a grueling journey, they connive their way past the no trespassing signs, past the uniformed officers. They walk into this big studio man's office and the big studio man is there. This essential man upon whom everything depends. But we do not see him just yet, for he has his back turned to the Muppets and to us. And we think it will just be some regular man. But then he turns in his chair, and we delight in the discovery that it is Orson Welles. It is a fabulous surprise for the audience, for the paying public, a kind of, how would you say, a reward, a, a shock. Their money's worth. We do not know who stands here in these shadows. It could be Orson Welles, it could be anybody. Mm, but it is you in this case and it will create a very nice moment. Okay. Is that clear? Sure. Is it clear? I, I'm sure. Let us do it this time with Frida's line first, and let us really shoot it because this is digital. We could just shoot everything. We should have been shooting all of this. Hey, hey, great stuff, man. Got a gift. Come see the baby. A baby? For the baby scene. It's a tiny little actor. We should. Oh, babies hate you. Yeah. Children and dogs hate him. Oh, that simply isn't true. And cats. Everything but single celled organisms. Not exactly what I said. Dogs love everybody. Not me. They smell fear. Why are you so hard on yourself? No, no, no. 
Don't cry. No, no. Talks are Look, easy. see how good? Nine! The suffering must be real. This is just Frank. Imagine we get Mel Gibson. No. Kevin Spacey. No. He's just a mask. It is essential that these maladies be real. That is the code that I have sworn to honor. Besides, it would be too expensive to get a real actor. Then we must do so much hours of makeup and prosthetics every day. Well, actually, with the insurance and liabilities, I don't want you to have to worry about any of that, though. Well, we do it digitally. I mean, digital effects are the plastic surgery of the moving image. I mean, a little touch up here and there, like nothing too noticeable. I, I don't know, it's just not like an amazing time yeah, to be alive. Again. She thinks she's fooling us with those sad little eyes, but she's just like the others. Fear and pity. She'll betray us in the end. Her hair's not even really blonde. <laughs> Mabel, Mabel, new pages for you. Thank you. Yes. Kind of camera. Oh, this is. Oh, I that knew it. Done. Celluloid man. <laughs> yeah, just don't open. The Some people say there's thing. no difference. Not me. I'm like you. Don't have your eye, but you talked to Matt, set photographer. Um, I've seen him around, but I don't think I've spoken to him. I'll introduce you. He's competent. Shoots digital like everybody these days. Makes sense in his line of work, but he's not doing what you're doing. You've got a natural talent. Acting, photography, things just come easy to you. Thanks, if you say so. I do say so. I admire your gift, even if it is got given, so to speak. Yeah, everything has been really interesting so far. I'd love to get a photo. Um, sure, that'd be great. Hey, you, come take our picture. <clears throat> I'd rather you took it, but it's impossible. Ah, oh, we could take a selfie. <laughs> Selfies. Ready? Three, two, one. Wait, wait, one more. <laughs> okay, ready? <laughs> you want one? Uh, sure, if that's cool. <clears throat> All right, three. Two, one, smile. Back to work. That's great. I want to copy this. Probably develop it yourself. No, I don't really like to mess with the chemicals and all this medication. Do you not like me for some reason? I don't know you. I am who I am. Can't change, so. I like you. Happy to hear it. I like you too. I respect you. You make a great Richard III. Olivier undermined the whole part because he was too vain to be defective. Not me, I'd slather my whole face with latex. It would suit me, I hate to be looked at. I was an Arab woman in my former life. I really believe that, that's why I'm ashamed to show my face. I'm insanely shy. Yeah, I'm kinda shy too. Oh, you're not shy. You're contemplative. Circumspect. Guarded. Who do you think you are? Sorry. This is not a playground. Your people are running around over by our side, right near our patients and families. They're scaring the children. I don't think they should be left on their own. I warned Goodrich that this would happen, but no one listens to me. This place is so big. We're the oldest and largest hospital in the state. It was funded by Carnegie. We were forced to close in the 1950s, but in 2001, Dr. Goodrich reopened it. Look. It was an all-female cast. Oh yeah, I didn't see that one. 
Have you talked to Rosenthal? He's amazing. Mabel seems to like him. <sighs> I need to talk to somebody. Who am I gonna talk to? Frozen Aristotle. Let's talk to them. Oh, damn it. Stella. I like her. Fascinating. Love this struggle. Who's that girl Rosenthal's talking to? Heard melodies are sweet, but those unheard are sweeter. Therefore, you soft pipes play on. There's a bearded lady after all. Guess I didn't get the part. It's not too late. The movie's not over. <laughs> Who is that dancing with Rosenthal? I think she's his wife. I didn't know he was married. What do you think about the Siamese twins? Eva and Miriam? Very pretty. Yeah, but I don't think they're real. <laughs> what do you mean? I mean, I think that Siamese twins have been phased out. You know, like, at least in the first world. Well, maybe those two couldn't be separated for some reason. They were attached to the skull, maybe, but at the hip like that? That's like a simple procedure. They could do that in the Carnegie wing. Maybe. Well, they're twins, anyway. Sure. Sure. And that one, the half-man, half-woman. <laughs> Jack Jacqueline? She doesn't talk much. Or is it a he? I mean, it has to be one or the other. All right, that's not a real thing. A hermaphrodite? Sure. Yeah, but, like, split down the middle like that. She's a fraud. <laughs> I think it's a he. He's a fraud. <laughs> well, well, Rosenthal's definitely real. Bruto, the little person. It's a pretty impressive lineup. How do you know she's his wife? Well, I don't know. Just kind of assumed. Who is that? That's you, after you get burned. I thought that it was just gonna be one quick shot. Real suffering. We must honor this cold. <laughs> I also don't think that the director's actually German. They say he grew up in the circus. We view it as a form of cinematic hygiene. We tell ourselves stories in order to live. That's great. Who said that? Did you make that up? Be careful of that fucking pig. I'm not an animal. Oldest and largest possible state. It was funded by Carnegie. She's beautiful. Hmm. The um Japanese girl you were dancing with? Oh, yeah. Huh. She's your wife. Yeah. Uh how how did you meet? I've never seen her before in my life. You're not married. No, not me. I'll be a bachelor till I die. Why do you say that? I mean, there's someone for everyone. Yeah, maybe I'm just a bit too picky. What about you? Are you married? Sorry, we're both picky. Yeah, I blame my father. No one was ever good enough for me, or maybe I wasn't good enough for anyone. Anyway, um, you... You saw the new pages? Oh, my God, yeah, I'm, I'm so sorry. Why are you sorry? Well, because I assume you didn't sign up to do that thing with me. And if you don't want to do that, I can totally back you up. Is it a problem for you? No, no, I'll do what I'm told or whatever the scene calls for. It's a visual medium, right? It might be really effective. It's not like Max. We could demand stunt doubles. <laughs> I don't know if lovemaking counts as a stunt. Anyway, it won't be so bad, will it? Smile! <laughs> Don't look too happy. His wife will be jealous. He's not his wife. That's my camera. Hey, what happened to the others? Where's Rosenthal? Oh, he's not coming. They're staying here. What? The hotel's too small, and it's not handicapped accessible. There are plenty of beds at the hospital. Plus the girl and the camera equipment, too, so... Yeah, but if the hotel is built for the hospital, why wouldn't it be handicap accessible? Built in less enlightened times, I guess. Wait, are they alone in there? I 
give a million dollars to know what goes on in there. Are you going back out tonight? That's kind of a personal question. We're locking the doors, Ellie. The body was found just up the road. Dead? The killer. We might have walked right by him. I spotted a man in the woods. He's real kind of uh, messed up looking. Scars or something. Well, don't look at me. I don't have any scars. Clean. I don't have any distinguishing features. Not even a, what do you call it? A mole? Yeah, that is your distinguishing feature. Total blandness. Uh, hey, director. Yeah, yeah. Which do you prefer for the portrait versus the Dolphins of Frida? Oh, well, ideally, I'd like to use this abstract one. It is almost as if she is becoming one of them. Yeah, but can you tell it's her? Mm, unfortunately, it is not so obvious. <laughs> Where's everybody? Camera's busted. We can't shoot. Everybody's in the auditorium. They're gonna screen dailies. Oh. slightly for me? Yes, yes, that's perfect. When I paint, I can remake the world as I wish it to be. Brother says he's getting close. Do not want to get my hopes up, but to think that then I'll see all the colors, then I can see you. Drop the paintbrush. I'm, I'm happy if you could see you, so young, so beautiful. You could own the world. Sorry? Babe, you could own the world. You could own the world. Your voice. There is something you want to tell me. I have a strong intuition about people. Let us not have secrets between us. I... I wanted to tell you, and yet I've been so afraid. Come out and say it. It's my face. What about your face? If or when you see my face. You'll turn away in horror. Turn away? In horror? From you? What do you look like? I have this disease that makes my face look 
mutated. Mutated. I have this disease that makes my face look mutated. No, I do not believe it. It's the truth. I'm an outcast. It's just you're the first person that didn't scream. Perhaps my brother can fix your face. There's no hope. It really does not matter to me what you look like or if you have some terrible disease. Not now, not when I see. Who you are inside, that's what I see. Your heart is gentle and kind, and therefore you are beautiful. If others cannot see that, it is they who are blind. You're not doing your dance. They're really just children. No. Such innocent creatures. Now, show the dance. Faster, <laughs> <laughs> come. Yes. With the, with the not flute. Eye contact. Deutschland über alles. Then she like doesn't have the chops to pull it off. Why and I heard her crying in the bathroom. My initial optimism was premature. The organs failed 12 hours after transplantation. I failed again. You're at 30. Tell them I'm at 30. Keep going in. Right there. Okay. Action. All right. I'll yell action. And then after, after that, I'll just cue Bruto. Uh, in a little bit? Yeah. Right there. All right. Action. Bruto. <gasps> All right, back to one. Camera. Set. Bruto. <laughs> Leering, yes. Back to one. I like this composition, yeah. Her, her soul has too many windows. Set. Bruto. <laughs> Back to one. All right, Sarah, turn a beat earlier, half a beat earlier. Okay. Turn your head slightly to the right. Turn slightly to the right. Perfect. Oh, no, slightly left. Yes. A little more left. Yes. Bruto. Bruto. <laughs> Back to one. We now have the power to bend nature to our will. Do we not have a responsibility, a sacred duty, to eliminate disorder, to end aberrations? Sorry, I messed up the word start again. Since you're starting over, just to take a step to your left. Yeah. Centimeter. To end, to eliminate disorder, to eradicate, eradicate aberrations. We now have the power to bend nature to our wills. Do we not have a responsibility, a sacred duty, to eliminate disorder, to eradicate aberrations, to put an end to needless suffering? We now have the power to bend nature to our wills. Do we not have a responsibility, a sacred duty, to eliminate disorder, to eradicate aberrations, to end needless suffering, to take arms? I do not know whether he is a genius only or a madman. Show them. You can do it. He's not an imbecile. Show them what you showed me. Don't be afraid. Heard melodies are sweet, but those unheard are sweeter. Therefore, ye soft pipes, play on. You practiced with him. He's just repeating by rote. He doesn't understand the meaning of what he's saying. Oh, 
You said you'd help me, Doctor. In time. I have done much for you. Things have made me ashamed, but I acted in desperation because you promised me a new face, a new life! Though I'm starting to suspect you might not be as sincere about holding up your end of the bargain. I've done it, my dear, just as I promised. The operation was a complete success. Is it really true? A medical breakthrough. Shh. Sleep some more. You need rest when you wake up. A new life will begin. No one must ever know that you are my spirit. One more time. I almost said son. No one must ever know that you are my brother. You said you'd help me, Dr. Adamshar. Stop him. He's against all of you. We're all the same here, Doctor. Frida, I thought you were one of us. Please, spare me. I can fix all of you. You can lead normal lives. I can set you free. All my knowledge, the success I've had with Frida, let me do the same with you. I'm your only hope. Nice try, Doctor. <laughs> <laughs> You know what goes on in there. It's a visual medium, so it serves as a kind of shorthand. Defect of the body is kind of ocular metaphor for defect of the soul. Look, Quasimodo, Achilles, Richard III, Gloucester, Goliath, Tom Thumb, Captain Hook, Caliban, Kruger, Frankenstein. All bitter defectors. It's such a gamble when you get a face. Who said that? 
the Empress and the Emperor of Mercedes. Man, how do you do that? It's not him, it's the cards. Wow. How oh, prophetic. Gina. Nora. Nora, you have to have Aristotle do your reading. I don't believe in that stuff, no offense. Oh, I don't usually, but wow. Maybe she doesn't want to know. Um, what time is it? Some godforsaken hour. Oh, fuck. I gotta go learn my goddamn lines. But trust me, this guy got a gift. Hey, Bruno. What are you doing with that? What does it look like I'm doing? That's not our camera. They want us guarding the equipment that is implicit permission to use it. Yeah. Let's make a movie. I have to memorize my lines. I'm not going to be blamed if you break that. Anybody can use this. It's digital. I encourage this behavior. Does she agree? No, actually, I don't. So you're the evil one. I think that makes me the evil one. You're on the right. Left is a sinister one. Don't you know that? It's been years since somebody told me that. The girls ever acted before? Oh my god, do you guys never sleep? I stopped messing around with that camera. If I were you, I think we're being watched. Why are you so paranoid? <laughs> <laughs> you heard they were filming a movie in here? Yeah, we're just getting started. You want to be in a movie? It doesn't look like a movie. Let me tell you a story. No. Just listen. In the days of the Black Death... I don't man... care. I need to go. How many men have you made love to? Nobody. You know that. How could I know that? I mean, I could only hope. So you've never had a boyfriend? No. I'm going to be the first. No, you won't. <laughs> I know that. How could I not know that? But let me tell you something. When you do finally make love to a man, no matter who it is, if it isn't me, I don't know what I'll do. You won't do anything. I'll kill myself. A family in need is on. I have to go. A what is on? Oh, God, you're so out of touch. Oh, come on. Don't think I don't get it. There's some actor on the show, right? Some hot actor. I mean, I just don't understand you sometimes. I thought you were the literary type. Turns out you're just a child of television. No wonder you can't communicate properly with people. I think you need to grow up. No, I don't need to take this from you. You have no idea how to interact with people. All you do is yell and act bitter because you're deformed. Oh, so you admit it now? No, I didn't say that. You were the one that said you were deformed. Oh, bullshit. Why can't we just do something fun? This is fun. This is not fun. Well, if you just relax, you make out it's a massive burden spending time with me. I mean, what the fuck else do you have to do apart from go home and watch television? Smile, be happy, here. Now, I am fantastic company! I am happy, okay? See? I like you fine. I'm just not attracted to you. I'm sorry. All you do is talk about us and ask me why our relationship is this way and why it can't be that way, and it makes me uncomfortable. People don't talk this way to each other. People certainly don't threaten suicide in the middle of conversation. You don't talk this way to other people. You don't talk this way to Lewis. I don't know how to react to you other than to fall in love with you. But I can't. I won't. I wouldn't want to. I just think you need to lower your standards. Well, whatever happens, happens. Maybe I'll end up falling in love with you. Let's go see a movie. A family in need is on, and it's a really important episode. I can't miss it. I told you that already. OK, we'll go. We'll watch it. Well, I'm watching it with my sister. You know, last night, I had the most unsettling nightmare. Tell me. I was in this hospital. And then we cut directly into the dream, right there. Who wrote this? Bruto did. Man. You don't like it? I like it. Doorways, empty deck, ceiling fans, 
chairs, transportation, like, you know, cars, airplanes. You? Uh, uh, countertops, um... <laughs> How much do you think this hospital costs? How would I know? Yes. How much does the hospital cost? An arm and a leg. I wonder if they take insurance. Bruno, you've had surgery, right? Yeah, of course. A, a lot of surgery? Yeah. I mean, yeah, so. Okay, do you not want to talk about it? I'll talk about it, but why are you asking? I mean, I mean I'll tell you about my surgery. Nina, you've had surgery, right? My name's Nora. Nora, I apologize, but how much surgery you had? It depends. On what? On what you call surgery. Well, I don't mean getting a tattoo. Let's put it that way. A lot, then. Who do you think has had more? You or Bruno? I had some. Ah, and did your insurance cover it? Some of it. I don't have insurance. Are you serious? I can't afford it. <laughs> so what? I tore a ligament in my knee, and I had to wear a cast for a year. Interesting. Is that not legitimate? Oh, no, I'm not saying that's not legitimate. I'm just commiserating with you. Okay, then. Gee, now I feel left out. I'm glad about that. Definitely. You don't need to feel left out. You've witnessed surgery. Yeah, like it's the same thing. Oh, no, no. I, I know it's not the same, but yes, I've, I've seen a lot and it's affected me. And you're helping people, which is great. I get emotionally attached. To the breast implant patients? People <coughs> die here. There's malpractice, maybe? That's one reason. <laughs> I was joking. Not malpractice, but all <coughs> medical procedures carry risks, so percentage-wise, some people do die. That's not necessarily a result of malpractice. <coughs> some people don't tolerate anesthesia, for instance. But they need those breasts. They're willing to die for those breasts. You guys make it sound so trivial, but if a woman needs bigger breasts to feel confident, and we live in a society <coughs> that favors larger chested women, how can you fault them for that? Look at your face. You weren't born like that. You had corrective surgery that wasn't medically necessary. I was an infant at the time. I didn't consent to any reconstructive surgery. <coughs> yeah, but your parents or whoever, they took a risk so you could fit better into society. <coughs> what do you know about how I fit into society? I'm on your side. I'm just defending breast implants and saying that some people think it's necessary and the risk is worth the risk. <coughs> Yeah, but you act like everybody that goes in there dies. That's absolutely not what I'm implying. We literally have the best doctors in the world. Dr. Godwin, right? Goodrich. Dr. Goodrich is the best. For what he does, he's the best. People come from literally all over the world to see him. <laughs> What's so great about him? He's really good. He's pioneered all sorts of <coughs> procedures. Look him up online. Maybe I should go see him. Oh, he's booked years in advance. Yes? Mm -hmm. Rosenthal? <laughs> What is happening? Rosenthal. <laughs> Nurse, both of you, come on, do something. <coughs> I, don't, I don't know. I don't it's, know what to do. I mean, is, has this happened before? Someone oh call a doctor. <laughs> oh, my God. oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God. OK, cut. <coughs> that was fun. OK, guys, please don't make me do that again. <coughs> I'm sorry, everybody. I think we should try it one more time. What was wrong with it? It didn't feel real. Brudo. Too aggressive. That, that's the way it was written. Well, let's just try to soften <coughs> it again. <coughs> okay, copy for real now. <coughs> I'm not doing it again. <coughs> you sound just like your character. Rosenthal, you write one. Nah, I'm good. Why not? You can be anything. Something that you can never be in real life. Well, I've always wanted to be a waiter. To play one? No, to actually be one. That's never gonna happen. Oh, I know. But it'd be great. Tell us about it, Rosenthal. So there I am. The hustle and bustle of the restaurant. Waiter's uniform. I go up to a group of customers. They're in a booth in the corner. And I say to them, good evening. How are we all? And they reply, fine, thank you. How are you? Well, it's a bit busy, but I can't complain. We have some speckers on the menu tonight. Would you like to see them? They reply, yes, we would. The exchange continues as you think it would, till finally we get to the point where I say, are we ready to order? One of the girls pipes up and says, I'll have the tuna milk and a Diet Coke. You're working at a diner? OK. One of the girls pipes up and says, I'll have the Dover Soul, please. Dover sole and a Diet Coke? 
one of the girls pipes up and says, I'll have the Dover Soul and a glass of red wine, please. Fish and red wine? <clears throat> Why is everyone looking at me? Like, I don't even like movies. Someone else write one. I've got to learn my goddamn lines and take my goddamn medication. I'm done with this. I have a movie. I'm going to bed. I'm going to learn my goddamn lines. Oh, great. Now a woman wants to make a movie and nobody wants to help. Hey, I made one. I'll help you. <sighs> Maybe it's too ambitious for tonight anyways. No, oh, tell us about it. OK. Well. Real acid. Who did this? Hi, Mabel. It's great to see you again. Comfy? All right, turn to me. This is Lisa. She's a medical student. I hope you don't mind if she observes our exam today. It's fine. So, Lisa, this is a very interesting case. Why don't you present her to me? Um, <clears throat> this is Mabel Fairchild. She's a 30-year-old white female who originally presented to Trinity Hospital in 2017 with third-degree chemical burns resulting from an accident on a movie set. <laughs> they affected 20% of her body, including her head, oral mucosa, neck, and left upper extremity. In the ED, she was found to be hypotensive, was fluid resuscitated, and then admitted to the ICU, and was ultimately transferred to Mount Sinai, where there's a burn unit. Good. Continue. Uh, she also... You're doing great. <clears throat> she also had a bout of acute renal failure, presumably due to ATN from her hypotensive episode, but that is not resolved. Uh, surgery, plastics, and ophthalmology were all following. Uh, she had a flat procedure to reconstruct part of her nose and left buccal area, which she seems to have tolerated pretty well. Overall, she spent a month in the hospital and now presents for routine follow-up. Um, the only thing of note is that um, she appears to have started smoking again, up to one half pack a day, and her alcohol intake is up to five or more glasses of wine a week, which makes me a little concerned about whether there's a substance-related issue going on. Actually, make that too on me. You're not drinking alone, are you? There you go. Keep it. Has anyone ever done anything nice for you before? What do you want? I just want to buy a girl a drink. You just say thank you. Man, you try and do something nice for someone. Cheer up. Come meet my friends. Just say it. Say what? Say what you want to say. What do I want to say? Jeez, you're paranoid. Nice fucking cold. If you don't want to deal with people, maybe you shouldn't fucking go out in public. Keep the drink, you look like you need it.
Hi. How are you? Uh, fine. Are you ready to order? Um, yeah, a uh, tuna melt and a Diet Coke, please. Don't be frightened. Sorry, do I know you? You don't recognize me. Rosenthal? N no, it can't be. What? What happened? Hard to believe, isn't it? It's impossible. How? Goodrich, you remember? The doctor from the hospital where we shot the undesirables, or Mark for Life as it was called then? Goodrich fixed all of us. Rosa, the twins, Aristotle. He saved us. I could never imagine. People get used to anything. After a while, it just felt normal. But now that I'm free, I have my dream job. And I can't wait for you to meet Lily. Your wife? My dog. Dogs love me now. And I love dogs. You need to have the procedure. Feel my skin. It's real flesh. It's made from stem cells or something. He knows what happened to you, and he wants to help. Oh, I've seen so many doctors. But he's not a doctor. He's a miracle worker. I'm living proof. Do it while you're still young. It's too late for me. Five years is nothing. You could even have your career back. I'm too old. Well, who knows? There's loads of good roles in television, I hear. Anyway, it's never too late to be happy. You'd be crazy to refuse. Why suffer? For what? For nothing. Go to him. We can be together, Mabel. I'm so happy, I can't tell you. Disturb you. Don't go. Stay with me. No, please. Don't. You don't have to be afraid. You're beautiful. Me? Beautiful? Especially your eyes. You have such beautiful eyes.
why are you so kind to me? Cut. She didn't do the German accent. What more can I do? Another take. No, I've done everything. Now I must wash my hands of this. We tell ourselves stories in order, so that we might live. Man has been telling himself stories since the time of his earliest ancestors. It's an innate human impulse, you know, the longing for, uh, for order, for symmetry, for, you know, beauty. Right, right. So a good story satisfies that longing, like a three-act structure. It's like attractive woman, or God, you know, ideal, Look, attainable. Yeah, but, but if everything were ideal, then... Nothing would be ideal. That's why I like you, bright boy. Uh, the car's here whenever you're ready. Hey. Hi. Before you go, I wanted to give you this from my secret stash. What is it? Dr. Lichter's magic cream. Uh, the anti-laughing cream. Mm -hmm. Try not to smile. I believe in you. You know Dr. Lichter? Oh, yeah. He lives in my mom's building. You know him, too? Yeah, he's, um, a friend of my agent. Yeah. Who's his stuff? Oh, it's nothing. It's for girls. It's for girls. Well, then. Yeah. Dr. Lichter's really a genius. <sighs> Mad genius. Uh-huh. I feel left out not knowing this guy. We'll hook you up. One of us. Right. One of us. Sarah, hmm? if you don't mind, I'd like to talk to Mabel alone. Oh, I, uh, I'm sure. <gasps> What's this about anti-laughing cream? Uh, it's just a joke. A de rice non procul, a best rices. Laughter is never very far from derision. Who said that? I have no idea. Um, well, it's impressive Latin. Dev language. You're keeping it alive. Well, they'll be gone. Well, not you. You're immortalized on celluloid. Another dead language. You wanted to talk about something? Yes. Well, no, I just... Well, Mabel, I wanted to say... It's been a pleasure working with you. Hello, madame. Hi. Are we having a good day? Pretty good. How's your day? Very good. Thank you for asking. We are going to the airport, yes? Yeah. You are an actress? I am. You are very beautiful. Thank you. Shouldn't we have turned left? Uh, yes, madame. But uh, the road is closed that way. They found a dead man. There's no way through. Police close it. Killer. 
I love movies. I see every movie ever made. You know Indiana Jones? Yeah. <laughs> that is the best movie ever made. You and me are the same. We are both artists. You're an artist? Yes, madame. I am many, many things. Here, this is my book. Um, did you wrote this? Yes, madame. Uh, what is it? I can't read the language. It is a story of how I escaped my country. What's your country? I am from Nigeria. You know Nigeria? Africa. Africa, that is right. My wife and children are there still. God, I'm sorry. But God has a plan. Yeah, he does. This is a book I write about my experience. I would next like to make a movie of it. It'll make a very, very good movie because there's a lot of action. Who would you have play you? I will play myself. But if Hollywood wants to make this movie then, maybe we get uh, Denzel Washington or Daniel Day-Lewis. Oh, phenomenal actor. Well, you should have someone translate your book so I can read it. I translated it. You can download it on Amazon.com. I'll download it when I get home. What is the title? Title is hard to translate. It means like uh, my sad tale, but I call it my struggle because this sounds more commercial. If you like it, please give five star review. And when I make this movie, you can be in the movie too. <laughs> yeah. God, wow, it's. That's incredible that you escaped and you're a limo driver and a published author. Yes. I know nine languages. Wow. I am also a math wizard. Math? Yes. Let me demonstrate. Ask me to multiply something. Give me two numbers and I'll multiply them. I don't know, I can't think of any. You cannot think of two numbers? Six and 20? <laughs> no, madam, that is too easy. Much harder, give me much harder. Six hundred and forty-two times nine thousand and sixty. 642 times 9,060 is uh, 5,816,520. Wow. Look it up on your mobile phone. Oh, uh, say that again. 5,816,520. That's insane. How did, how did you do that? I am a math wizard. N no, that's impossible. God, what else are you freakishly good at? I make a TV show. See this here? Is that a camera? Yes. I film my passengers. Are you filming now? Oh, no, no, no. I always ask for permission before I film. I am very smart and I do not want to get sued. So I always ask for verbal consent without fail. Will you consent? What is it for? I film my passengers answering math problems and uh, I want to make a TV show to help children learn math. Oh. But I, I'm terrible at math. I'm, I mean, I, I'd seem like an idiot. I know a special way to teach math. Look, right now this is only a dream, but I will edit the show, put it on YouTube, and then it will get very popular. And then I get famous enough to ask President Trump to bring my family from Nigeria. And uh, he will do as I ask. You're an extraordinary man. Will 
you consent to film? I, mean, I leave it in your hands, but uh, I will be very grateful if you would allow it. Do I have your permission?